And apparently that hit the batter once again and for Kelper. Well, they're going to say that the batter did not try to get out of the way and he's going to be called out. Hi, everyone. It's Lindsay. The batter here is called out on strikes. It was an 0-2 count for failing to avoid or attempt to avoid this pitch, allowing it to hit his elbow. He's called out. Why is that? The first thing to say is this is a college game, and the college hit-by-pitch rules are different than the pro hit-by-pitch rules. In college, a strike is awarded if a batter intentionally moves into the pitch regardless of his location or allows themselves to be intentionally hit by a pitch not within the batter's box regardless of its location. This is different than the pro rule. The pro rule says that if the batter does the same exact thing, it's only a strike if the ball is in the strike zone. If it's not in the strike zone, you just call a dead ball and award a ball and the batter comes back to bat. But in college, unlike in pro, this thing that Diaz does would probably result in an automatic strike because he leaned into it intentionally or he allowed it to hit him, not in the batter's box, intentionally. So that's what we have here. And here's an ejection. Take a quick look again. I don't know. I'm breaking ball in. So those are the rules differences. What do you think? That hit the batter once again and for Kelper. Well, they're going to say that the batter did not try to get out of the way and he's going to be called out. On a breaking ball, then kind of an odd finish here in the top of the first inning. And Greg Moore is going to talk to the umpires. We'll go to the bottom of the first 3 nothing St. Mary's. You're watching Wavecast on the WCC Network. 